Well, it looks like it's another good day to be owning gold and silver today. Um, silver did rise to its 200-day moving average like I suspected it might. It's right below it. Uh, actually, it's right at the 200-day moving average right now, 1337. Uh, I still have my stop loss at 12. Actually, I raised my stop loss to $12.75 on the 500 shares that I bought at 11 bucks. Uh, I raised it up a little bit. It's still above. It's riding that five-day moving average, which is really good. Uh, it's a little overbought right now, so I, I suspect it may move sideways a bit uh, for a little while to consolidate a little bit. Um, but another good day. Uh, market. Uh, I think the market's down a little bit right now, and the metals are still rising. Metals are about the only thing I see rising, so we're in good shape. Um, I got a comment from a subscriber that he disagreed with that you should only buy silver rounds, and I guess I should clarify that it depends on how much money you have to invest in, in the metal. If you only have a thousand or two, just buy the rounds because uh, you'll pay a little more per ounce, but you're paying a little more per ounce because of the portability. Uh, you can easily easy trade 20 rounds, or you know, when you buy a 100 ounce bar, you can't break that up. And that's why you pay a little more for the rounds because you need that convenience. You may need that convenience uh, if you need to trade it or buy something in the future. Uh, it's just easier to e easier to, to trade. Uh, maybe you have you know you have five or ten thousand dollars, even more to to invest in silver than buy the hundred ounce bars. I wouldn't recommend buying the thousand ounce bars uh, unless you know uh, where you're going to be able to trade that in and trade it for something else like real estate something else that's real don't trade it in for something that's fake like dollars take the real and trade it for more real keep it real man keep it real <laughs> anyway uh, enough on that um, if you have any questions about which ones you should buy with how much money you have uh, just give me a comment and I'll, I'll answer it um, also uh, it looks like people are pulling their money out of the market which is why it dropped and they're going right back into the dollar, uh, right back into treasuries. So the TBT, which is double short the treasuries, uh, pulled back. I sold out of that. Uh, it's pulling back. Let me check out what it is right now. TBT down another $1.40. Um, it broke its trend. It looks like people are still stupid enough to think they can pull their money out into the dollar. Um, so I'll be looking for support on that and uh, let you know when I go back into the TBT. Also, Another uh, fund I'd like to talk about is uh, gasoline. UGA is the gasoline fund. Uh, it looks, looks like it's riding a pretty strong sideways trend right now because the refiners uh, are holding back uh, production to keep the price relatively high. So with the driving season coming up, we could see a spike in the UGA, and it's up, it's up a little bit on higher volume today, uh, right around 23.50. So those are the three I'm watching. Um, trying to come up with a scenario of what might happen, what might cause uh, the dollar to crash. And it could be uh, a foreign country saying, you know, we know you can't ever pay your, your, your debt back, so we're going to start dumping our dollars. They've already started to do that. But if they do it in a big way, in a panicked way, that will kill the dollar. Um, also, the credit default swaps. Um, is The risk on them failing has reached an all-time high. Uh, usually the spread's around 20 Right now it's at 80, so I think that means there's an 80% chance that the credit default swaps are going to fail, and if they only go down to 40, the dollar will crash for sure. And so my question is, if the dollar crashes, and will the market go up because the market's priced in dollars, and if the market, if the dollar crashes, it'll take more dollars to buy, buy anything priced in dollars. Um, will the stock market go up or down? Will people panic and pull money out of the market and, and go back in the dollars and prop the dollar up, even if it crashes? Or will they wake up and, and, and know that they should put their dollars into metals, something real? I just saw a guy on the day, he's a pretty big, big hitter, I think, and he said um, he's mostly in cash. He's a major money manager, and he said uh, he's, he's been overweight cash for some time, and he plans on staying that way. Well... It still shows you that these people still don't believe that the uh, inevitable is, is, is going to come, even though the trillions of dollars we're going to have to spend that is going to be put on us taxpayers. Well, I, I got news for you. I don't make enough money to pay that much tax for a trillion dollar best bailout, much less $10 trillion. 
So if they know we'll never be able to pay them back and they keep spending this money that they know can never be paid back and you're a foreign holder of our dollars, how can you hold them knowing that we're committing financial suicide? Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm watching the TBT. Of course, I'm in silver and I'm watching gasoline. Um, because if the treasury market crashes, the TBT will rise. It's an inverse fund, so it will rise strongly. Um, and if the dollar does crash, if the treasury market does crash, which makes the TBT rise, that money should flow into the metals, which will make silver and gold rise. So that's my plan. you got to have a plan. Uh, what else? Um, I saw by a couple of reliable sources that J.P. Morgan, uh, one of the only banks to not go down to two cents or two bucks or whatever, um, uh, which is very suspect. Look at Citibank's at three bucks. Let me get this back on here. Come on. I have a DVR. I can pause and rewind. Citibank, 357, Bank of America, 596, Goldman Sachs, 93 bucks, Morgan Stanley, 22 bucks, and JP Morgan, 25 bucks. So you can see how the, the big fish are killing the little fish. <laughs> or the, you know, Citibank and Bank of America are two of the biggest banks in the world, but yet you can see who the, who the culprits are. The $93 banks, the $22 and the $25 banks, you can see. Uh, what's going on. I hope JP Morgan fails because uh, supposedly they own 90% of the short position, the short paper on silver. 90% of the short. It's completely fraudulent. You're not supposed to have more than, I think, 20% of the short position at all in any time. So if JP Morgan fails, they'll be forced to cover their short in silver. And uh, I'm hoping a big, a big hitter will come into silver and buy a ton of ounces. And J.P. Morgan will ha be forced to cover their shorts or their default, and that will bring them down where they should be. So hope is not an investment strategy, but you have to have a plan and an idea, which makes you invest in anything. And right now, the idea is dollar collapse and metals rising, ultimately. So buy some silver. Um, gold is prettier, but I would own silver. Uh, what else? That should be about it for today. Um, I can't believe the things I'm seeing on TV. You know, when you wake up to their to their BS and you see the questions that are are thrown at them and how they they just kind of wade around the questions. Uh, they're masters at it. Um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. And uh, I don't think I left anything out. Budget deficit. That's it. Oh, <laughs> here's a little tidbit. Give you an idea how much a trillion dollars is. If you had started spending a million dollars a day, starting on the day Christ was born, and you spent a million dollars a day up until today, you still wouldn't be at a trillion dollars. Do the math on that. So that's how much, you know, our deficit last year was uh, a third what it is today. In just a few months, the money supply has, has tripled. So this, this move in the metals is just is just a start. It's like one of those charts you see where you see it rise like this. We're only down here where it's just moving a little bit. But over the next two, three, four years, you're going to see exponential moves in the metals like platinum did. Um, so hold on. Keep buying it until you're rich. See you next time.